Welcome to IRS POS video tutorial for the Delivery Route Manager, part one of a three-part series. This tutorial will cover the basic features of the Delivery Route Manager, creating a route with one address, and creating a route with more than one address. Part two will discuss the options of a created route and delivery confirmations, and part three will discuss using the barcode scanning feature. So let's get started. Here you see the delivery manager opens up and it will default to the current day's deliveries while populating the delivery queue at the bottom of the screen. If you would like to search the deliveries, simply use the search panel and Iris gives you multiple search options by clicking on the word filter. You can search by customer name, recipient name, business name, phone number, order number, or zip code. If you need to expand beyond the current day, Simply use the calendar function to select the desired date range and then click search. Next, we're going to cover the icons. The magnifier icon allows you to search for the specific address. The reverse arrow icon allows you to search for quick directions between two addresses, not necessarily in your queue. The print map icon allows you to print the current unrouted map. The GPS icon will be covered in part two. The push pin icon allows you to create your selected route. The default message icon will be covered in part two. The barcode icon will be covered in part three. And the refresh icon will allow you to refresh your screen. Next, located at the top right is the weather forecast. To view your five day weather forecast, simply click on the word forecast and it will drop down. This forecast allows you to see sky conditions, wind, humidity, sunrise, and sunset, as well as the highs and lows for the next five days. To close this window, simply click forecast again and the window will close. Your route address typically is your store location and the beginning point for mapping. To change the route address temporarily, simply click on the change route address and input the new address including city, state, and zip code in one line and then click save. This will change your address while the screen is open. Should the screen be closed or refreshed, the delivery route manager will revert to the permanent route address held on file. Next we're going to create some routes. First we'll create a route using one delivery address. To do this, select the address you wish to deliver by check marking at the very end in the box. At the bottom of the screen, you want to place a check mark in Include Route, and this creates two, row, two points in a route in order to allow for mapping. Next, at the top of the screen, you're going to use the push pen icon and select Create Route. At this point, it's going to ask you to create your route and give it a name. In this case, we'll use Route A and click Save. Once I click Save, you'll notice that the route, I'm sorry, the delivery will be removed from the order queue and it will po be populated in the route manager at the bottom right hand corner. You will see this green check mark when the route is successfully saved. Next, we're going to create a route with more than one address. Like before, to select the deliveries you would like to route, simply place check marks in the, at the end of the line selecting which deliveries you want to route. Again, make sure that there is a check mark in Include Route at the bottom of your screen, and then moving to the top of your screen using the push pin icon, you select your route, I'm sorry, you create your route, and then you create your route name. In this case, we'll use Route B and click Save. Again, the orders are removed from the order queue, and when your route is created, you'll see the green check mark. <laughs> 